when it comes to bending radiators, we are professionals. Holy fuck! The original crash test dummies. Whoa. The gladiators of radiators. We bleed green. A few months ago, I discussed my experiment. I did not fit any extra protection to my brand new Sherco. I wanted to see how far I could go before parts broke or bent. Both my radiators were increasingly bent one year later. John Ingham from BDBR Enduro Parts offered to attempt a repair. He said the P-TECH radiator guards are extremely tough and can actually straighten bent radiators as you tighten them. Over to John. We're going to have a go at trying to straighten it out enough so that we can actually put the P-TECH guards over the top of the bent radiator. Sometimes it's never too late to fit a set of radiator guards. The guards can fit over the top and straighten things back out for you. We're just going to try and pull this radiator back out. Okay. We're just draining the coolant so uh, because we have to pull the radiators off. This side radiator was a little bit tweaked on this side, but just by putting it in and tightening the bolts up to the rad guard, it's managed to actually pull the radiator straight. So we're going to have to try and twist this radiator so that it sits parallel with the radiator guard. Otherwise, we won't be able to get any of the mounting hardware back in. <laughs> Secured the bottom tank in the vise and we're just going to twist the radiator very slightly to get rid of the kink. So here we are, we've fitted up the radiator guard, we've managed to unbend the radiator enough so it sits squarely in the guard, and we've now created clearance on the power valve cover, whereas before the radiator was actually touching the power valve cover. This was John's first repair, so for more details I'd suggest checking out some other YouTube vids. With enough time, it's surprising how even badly mangled radiators can look almost new again. Why buy new ones if you don't have to? The P-TECH radiators and other protective parts are proving popular in our hard enduro scene. Well priced and tough. I do know some radiator guards might be lighter, but of course they'll bend in a big crash. Let us know your good and bad experiences with various brands. Have you ever mangled a radiator? Did you attempt a repair or just buy a new one? Any further suggestions? We'll add them to the pinned first comment.